Okay, so today we're going to be working on a 383 small block Chevy with a magnet charger, supercharger on it. It has a Holley V4 HP computer with a Holley dual sync distributor. Now one of the issues is the vehicle has a open plenum intake manifold. So there's only about one inch of runner at the cylinder head ports. So the intake is just wide open and there's a lot of drivability issues with this vehicle. So let's get started. All right, so this is the file. 383 NTK sensor, 48 pound injectors. It's got a dual sink in it, standard firing order. So you can see that's pretty much a basic two bar map sensor base fuel table. We did a data log. And here's what we saw in the data log. So you can see about 51 kPa pretty much straight through the whole thing with the engine running. Target air fuel was not too bad. We're going to try to make it better. So that's the biggest thing we wanted to see was this 51 kPa which is the vacuum that the engine was making at idle. So the cam probably is a small LSA in it, probably like a 108 or 106, we're not sure what the camshaft is. We're going to go ahead and try to fix it. Now, since I opened the data log, you can see here's the cursor. That's where the data log was sitting during that run. And you can see we're losing all these cells down here. Plus, we have all these cells up here that we're not going to use because it doesn't make that much boost. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here. We're going to change that to 35. We're going to go up here and change that to 1. 61. That'll be more boost than the engine will actually make. And what we'll do is we're going to come down here and highlight the entire row. And we're going to fill column value. And that smoothed everything out. So now you can see it's going to be idling down here now. And we have more resolution because zero vacuum one pound of boost is way up here now so now we can get more drivability now so that we don't have to reprogram the entire vehicle we're going to cheat a little bit we're going to make, minimize the screen and not do that now this is a regular fuel injection pre-written program from holly so what we're going to do is we'll take are 35 we're going to copy it and we're going to go down here to our tune the new tune we're going to paste and we'll do the same thing with 49 now we can do 30, 42 also. And we'll, I'm going to continue on. You can see by the colors here, we have we did the entire fuel map. Whenever we saw a cell here that matched the cell over here, we copied that row and pasted it over to here. So now we'll open this up. And now you notice that Holly gives you little arrows that shows you where the cells were changed. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to smooth them out by doing the pulling a section of them like that and we're going to fill a column 
You want to make sure that you start off with one of the cells that's been modified. To another one that's been modified. If we get up in the higher boost areas, we'll. we'll We'll blend less rows at a time. And we almost got it done. So here it's a little goofy. So we'll this cell here, the color codes in there, you can kind of see when you, when there's issues. Okay. So now what you can kind of get an idea of where we're going with that. This is not it. A finished tune this is a startup tune now but it's using the same numbers that were in the vehicle that were was already running so now we'll install this into the car a couple little things I was thinking about before we install this tune we're gonna to want to go to closed loop and learn and we're gonna disable both and the reason being is once it fires up and runs we want to do our rough adjustment first without the assistance of the computer. That way we can make it do what we're trying to make it do in, in blocks of sections. And then once we get the adjustments where we need them, then we can turn this back on. One last thing we want to do is we want to save this file to a new name. So we're going to go to save global file as. So we do not want to rewrite this program because this is the program the vehicle is running on right now. This way, if it doesn't look like it's working right, or if you hit some keys and it does something wrong, we can stop and go back to where we were. So we're gonna rename this to the current date and time. That's how I usually do them. And then that way, now we know which tune we have in the engine. And now it's ready to install. We'll install it and we'll move over to the car and see where it puts us. Okay, so now we're in the car and we're gonna upload the file that we just wrote. Open up the Holly EFI software. Find the file that we wrote. Turn the key on and click USB link. Now you'll notice that fuel and system failed because the file that we're trying to install is different than the one that's in the vehicle. So we're gonna send to ECU. Now it's sent the new file and it's ready to start. Okay, now that we are up to temperature, we can start fixing the tune. We'll click the gauges, and we see we're just a tick lean. So we're going to highlight the section that it's idling at. We're going to right click and do an offset selection. We 
we're going to add some fuel to it. Now we're pretty good. Now what you're going to want to do is pull different RPM levels and keep doing that until you have a pretty good selection done. Now you could just leave long term uh, closed loop and learning on and do the same thing. But I prefer to do it this way so that when I go drive the car, it's much closer to where it needs to be. Okay, now that we've corrected a bunch of the table, we can go ahead and turn long, long term trim or learning and closed loop on and then drive the car and finish the tune. You can see in the bottom corner that our closed loop and learning are almost no correction because we've already fixed the table beforehand. Now I know the car will go out and run and we won't have to worry about it going open loop, closed loop and causing an engine running problem. Hope you enjoyed this tip. We'll put some more out there in the future for you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.